This is your booty menu. What? When I pat my stomach mm -hmm. like this, this is your booty menu. Right, what is that? It's a signal. We need a signal for your booty menu? You're gonna be amazed at how many times it's gonna come up. Yeah, I think I will be. I chose you for my team, Casey. Yes. I picked you, I picked you first. Yeah, I appreciate that. Teamwork. Yes. And a brotherly thing. Hey, I won't let you down. What's the signal? Patting your stomach. What's the signal for? Hmm. Uh, your hootie menu. Well, look, maybe if you made a little playbook or something like that, that I could have... Okay, 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 okay. 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 Now, I, I could have picked Dave first, you know that, right? Yeah, I know. I won the coin toss, I have first pick. Well, you're saying that Dave's better than I am? Did I say that? You said you could have picked him first. <laughs> to demonstrate my confidence in you is all. Okay? I, I had won the coin toss, I had first pick, and I picked you. Natalie picked Dave. Yeah, who else? Who else is on our team? Yeah. Uh, uh, Dana, Elliot, and Will. And we're who? Who are we? We're Chris, Kim, Isaac, me, and you. Oh, well, we got a shot. We got a really good shot, and I've got total confidence in you. Now, what's the signal for your hoodie menu? Uh, I extend my forearm and grab my wrist like so. No, that's offensive holding. Well, that doesn't come up in this game. Oh, Natalie, I'll trade you Casey for Dave, straight up. Sorry, pal, but you lost the coin toss. Hey, I thought you won the coin toss. I didn't win it outright, Casey. I came in second. You're going down tonight, Dartmouth. Good, she's talking trash now. Three minutes live. Dana. Yes. Outside a second. Yeah. What's my drop dead time on Milwaukee? 22 past the hour. Make sure somebody knows that. Thank you. The sports reports 100 most influential people. Is it out? Uh, it's on the stands Friday, but they're leaking it tomorrow. Did they leak it tonight? Yep. Are we on it? Casey's 92. Where's Dan? He's not on it. Dan's not on it? No. Well, I wouldn't tell him until after the show. Actually, I was going to not tell him at all and have you do it. Why? You make a lot more money than I do. I paid that money to delegate. Not going to happen. And when he gets in the game, Dana. Did you really win the coin toss? Yes. And you picked me first? <sighs> of course I picked you first. You picked Dave first. Yes. So the only reason you picked me is that Natalie won the coin toss. I'd have picked you anyway. Oh, really? No. You didn't pick Dave. I need him on 19th century French philosophers. I need him on hip hop. Like, I don't know hip hop? Yeah, I know hip hop, Allison. We're all BTR. There's a new grid copy for Dallas. Thanks. Good <laughs> joke. Is there a game tonight? What? You guys are playing celebrities tonight? You know, I, I think Natalie says something about that, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. This sucks, you know that? <laughs> Look, I'm sure it's okay if you play. Thanks. Jeremy. Invite me, don't invite me, but this sucks. This is her thing. What do you want me to do? Yeah, yeah. This is a new grid for Dallas? Yeah. I just got a fair point. Yes. This is getting uncomfortable. Yes. This is why I discourage fraternization in the office. You discourage fraternization? I do. Are you not counting the last year and a half with Dana? I am, as a matter of fact, not counting that. Okay. Did I go on a date with her? Very excited about this game tonight. No, I did not go on a date with Natalie's her. Natalie's beaten me one too many times, and it's time to reclaim my man. I'm going to pay back night for Dana as well. We're going to wipe him up, dude. But we're going to do it with the fundamentals. You got superior education. You got superior powers of communication. Yes. Between you and me? I know. I wouldn't say this publicly. Because that'd be obnoxious. Of course. But just between us. I'm much smarter than that. Yes. When is it going to dawn on the two of you that we can hear everything you're saying? All right. We're going to need to get back to the fundamentals. Good evening from New York City. I'm Casey McCall alongside Dan Rydell. And this is Sports Night. We're starting in a few minutes. Danny? Yes. I like New York in June. How about you? Wow. What are we, uh, what are we doing now, Isaac? That song was written in 1944, a movie called Babes on Broadway. Ask me another. You're aware that this game that we're playing is about famous people and not song titles. I understand that. I'm just saying that I have a comprehensive command of American musicals, 
And people don't know that about me. And you want them to? I have a comprehensive command. Are you up for this game tonight? Danny. Because I'm trying to reclaim my manhood. Name a song. I was going to go change. Song from a musical. Change. Name a damn song. How are things in Glockamore? That's going to bug the crap out of me. We're starting in a few minutes. How are things in Glockamore? You sent for me? Yes. You enjoy doing that, don't you? Sending for you? Yes. Yes. Well, I want you to know that your neuroses riddled female power plays aren't going to bring you what you want. I sent for you. You're here? Yes. I'm doing fine. Well, what do you want? According to Sports Report, you are the 92nd most influential person in sports. Really? Yeah. Dan and I are 92nd? Casey? 92nd? Listen to me. Oh, now, wait a minute. I think we're at least 65, and that's being conservative. Dan's not on the list. What are you talking about? You're 92nd. He's not on the list. Well, how do you know? I know. How do you know? We found out last night that they're leaking it tomorrow. Why don't they just publish the damn thing? What does it matter? I'm saying Well, does that... Danny know? No. Well, when's he going to find out? I thought I'd leave that up to you. You delegated? Part of my neuroses riddled female power play. No, that won't work. Leave now. Okay. It really is. Suit yourself. Yes, except it really is a parallelogram. The sum of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram have to equal 180 degrees. I know that. Okay. Really? It's okay to admit that you don't. I actually have a degree in applied mathematics. Oh, well, they should have made you come to class more. Hey, you no, know, it was free-form sculpture. I wasn't really using a protractor. And a couple times the olives. My name's Jenny. And Jeremy Goodwin. Nice to meet you. Have we met? Uh, I, uh, I don't think so. You sure you didn't go to Amherst? Went to Arizona State. No, your son died. Uh-huh. We didn't go to camp together? I uh, never went to camp. Oh, you should have gone to camp. It's great. I heard. Are you in sports? Why do you ask? Because you really seem very familiar to me. Are you in sports? Yeah. Are you Sammy Sosa? No. Of course not, because Sammy Sosa's a big Dominican man in the Cubs uniform. Yeah, no, I <laughs> work across the street at CSC. You work for a sports night. I'm a producer. You produce a sports night? That's sufficiently impressive. Oh, I don't produce it myself. There's an executive producer and a senior associate, both of whom are above me. Do you think your career progress is being thwarted by your inability to... Make a parallel with it? I actually do <laughs> not, no. Think you'd have more friends if you knew I know how to make a parallelogram. I also have plenty of friends. You just prefer to drink alone. My friends are mad at me right now. Why? I broke up with their girlfriend. Are you sure I don't know you? No. The best thing for you to do right now? Yeah. Buy me a drink. Okay. Quiet, please! Stop! Quiet! Herein are the rules. Each team will send one player to the sacred helmet of names. That player will have 60 seconds to get his team to name as many of the celebrities written down in the sacred helmet as possible. You may employ any means necessary except saying any part of the person's name. When the game is over, Dan will hoist me on his shoulders. I'm reclaiming my manhood today, baby. That's good. Hang on. What? 
Will's in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. We shall wait. Yes, we shall. Casey? <laughs> you snapped your fingers? Yes. Why? To get you to come to me quickly. Uh -huh. Have you spoken to Dan yet? No. Casey? No, because you know why? Because I don't want to ruin his good time tonight. Why don't you use this opportunity of Will being in the bathroom? I'm back! Yes, you are. Thank God. Before we start, I'd like to ask a question. Is it about the rules? Yes. What? Does anyone know the lyrics to How Are Things in Glockamore? I do not. I have a comprehensive knowledge of these things. We don't know the lyrics, Isaac. Are we ready to wipe the smug off their faces? Yeah! yeah. We ready to reclaim our manhood? Yeah! yeah. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. We'll let the games begin. All right, uh, this guy was attorney general in 1973 for about five minutes. Saturday Night Master. Elliot Richardson. After him. William Ruckelshaus. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this guy uh, defeated Montezuma. Cortez. Yes. Mm, need a first yes. name. Chris. Come on, come on, Jack. There it is. Oh. Yes. This guy was one of the monkeys. Davy Jones? Not Davy Jones, but yeah. Veronica. No, what? No. <laughs> Veronica <laughs> played the tambourine. That wasn't a real band. Okay. Yeah, well, neither are the monkeys. See, they're just they're real people, okay? And the guy, oh, like a mouse. Time. Time. Oh, time. Veronica? Well, yeah, because I put her name in the helmet. I thought that maybe you picked Yeah, you thought there was some crossover between the Archies and the Monkeys? Hey, look, I'm under a certain amount of pressure here. Yeah, well, you're dealing with it well. Hey. You got uh -huh. four, and that's giving you Jack Cortez. Sure. After three full rounds, we are ahead by 22. <laughs> Just call timeout. Timeout. For what? We need to regroup and get some more beer. Yeah, we need to regroup and some more beer. Yeah, for ten minutes, when this thing goes off, we come back to finish what we began. I think I'm never gonna get my manhood back, am I? It's not really clear you ever had it in the first place. No, you had it. You had it. Good evening from New York City. I'm Casey McCall. Hang alongside it. What? It's not good evening from New York City. It's good evening, comma, from New York City. I'm Casey McCall. You pronounced the comma? You don't pronounce it, but you acknowledge it. No, no, it. you didn't. Oh, you want me to doff my cap? Oh, it wouldn't kill you. I don't have a cap. Then you should doff something else. What'd you have in mind? <laughs> what? No. I uh, just took it to the next level, didn't I? Did you? If you're not sure, then I didn't do a good job. That's not necessarily true. I'm not that good with these kinds of things, and usually a girl needs to smack me in the head and hold up a sign. Right, good to know. There are areas in which I'm an expert. Name some. Sports. How many home runs did Ken Griffey hit in 97? Ken Griffey wasn't playing baseball in 97, but his son, Ken Griffey Jr., hit... 56. He hit 54. You are wrong. I don't think so. I know so. You want to make a bet? You'll lose. I don't think so. I've got the Elias sports book across the street. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I used to know these songs. I used to sing them with my friend Corey, a rehearsal accountant. Hey, why don't you give Corey a call? I died about a year ago. Sorry. Yeah, I can't remember the lyrics. Well, you're still ahead of us, Isaac, because we never do the lyrics. I forgot my grandson's name this morning. Just for a moment. But it seemed longer than that. Completely forgot his name. Oh, man. When I was growing up, my father would call upstairs to me and my brother and my sister. He'd go through such a Rolodex of names <laughs> before he'd hit on anything even in the vicinity of yeah. our names. It, it, yeah. You work a long day. Yeah, I'll remember it. Well, don't go far. We're starting to get soon. Yeah. When he gets tired. Yeah. Hey, listen, here's something you're not going to like. What? Uh, well, I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think anybody else is going to think it's a big deal what? either. Hey, I'm just, hey, uh, Jeremy. I need to borrow your copy of Alliance. Uh, it's up in the cabinet. We feel bad. It's one of those things. 
Uh, I'm just doing what? Nah, you know what? I think it's better for Natalie to be able to... Nah. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab this and go. That book is mine and it doesn't leave the building. Do you know how anal you are about your books? Uh, I know that Natalie's got your manhood stuffed inside of a Prada bag. I like your coffee. Let's go. Hey, I still need to talk to you. All right, later. <laughs> Uh, is she, uh, talking to me? Yeah. Huh. Five, huh. four, three, two. <laughs> this is the Secretary General of the oh, U.N. Yes. Uh, no, to be. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Boutrous, boutrous, golly. Yes. yes. Uh, bet your ass. Okay. This is a porn star. This is a female porn star. Uh. Da, 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 off the top of my head, I can't think of the names of the films she's been in. Act him out for us. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, okay, I can tell you she was in the best of Nina Hartley. Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? 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 what, what, what that, that was a violation? What is the one rule of celebrities? You, you can't say the person's name. You can't say the person's name. All right, we'll give him one for Boutros, Boutros, golly. The sure? rest of his round is over. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Hey, what took you so long? Oh, yeah, I was. Let me uh, see. Jenny? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah. You were right. I do it for a living. You figured out how you recognized me. Yeah. You really shouldn't watch those kinds of movies, Jim. I don't. I swear. Sometimes I get home very late at night because of the show. And... Channel 35. Oh, well, it's just there. It's okay. Look. It's okay to enjoy the movies, Jeremy. That's why I make them. Yeah, but... Uh, I do that for a living. Well, I, you know... You're very good. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, it's fifty-six hundred. Why don't you come out with me and my friends tonight? There's a party. Why are you talking to me? What do you mean? There are a lot of guys in this Jenny. party. There are a lot of guys in this city. Why did I start talking to you? Yes. what you told me to do. Really? I made a sign. I think you're cute, and I've had fun talking to you, and I'd like you to ask me out. Yes. It's pretty flattering. Well, I should think so. <sighs> you didn't like talking to me? No, I did. But now that you know what I do for living. My point is that I'm nothing like the people that you associate with. How do you know who I associate with? I've seen them in the movie. Yes, those are people I work with. Yes. And in what ways are you not like them? Well, anatomically, to be sure. Thank God for that. Yeah. Come out with us. Look. No one is going to take their penis out and hit you in the head with it. Thank God for that. Come on. It's just not my world. I'm sorry? I'm not making any judgment at all. It's just not my world. I think you are making a judgment, Jeremy, because the whole thing's your world. <laughs> you get to try everything you can. I. You're not in my world either, but I started talking to you anyway because I... Don't ordinarily get to meet guys like you, and I really wanted to. So I think you are making a judgment because it's either fear or some ridiculous preconception that I am someone who can't be seen in daylight that's keeping you from saying yes because I know you like to talk to me and I know that you like to look at me. I hope it's fear because the other's really pathetic. Either way, I've, uh, I've got a website, so if you've got a credit card, you can look anywhere. It's more comfortable. 
Thanks for the drinks. Five second warning. Four, three. <laughs> oh my God, this is it. <laughs> What are you doing? It's a signal. What's he doing? It's a signal. It's Rudy no, something. No. Uh, it's Rudy. No, it's not. It's Actually. Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> okay, Casey. Rudy, Rudy, no, Rudy. No, no, no. Oh, just, just give me a sec. Wait, Rudy. I got it. Please. So I ask each weeping willow and each brook along the way and each lad that comes a whistling to relay. How are things in Blackamora? This fine day. <laughs> and my grandson's name is Matthew, by the way. Can we please? 20 seconds. Come on, what am I doing? Rudy. <laughs> it's Rudy. Rudy. Listen, 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 listen. Rudy. Quickly, quickly, calmly, for the love of God, please stop saying Rudy, okay? <laughs> All right. This is an Israeli violinist. Yehudi Menuhin. Yes, son! We got one! <laughs> yes, we did. We did. We got one. And it was a testament to great teamwork, however ragged it may have been. Oh, yeah. Geez, the guilt is yeah. flying out of my ears here. We need to take a break. No breaks. Yeah. Get a beer. Okay. Can I talk to you for a second? Don't let my enthusiasm out there mislead you. This team still needs a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, listen, the Sports Report's top 100 list is coming out Friday. Yeah, is it leaked? Uh, yeah. If you're, you're not on it. What else is new? I am on it. Really? 92. That's great. Look, although I think you got jet. I mean, you should have been at least... Uh, who's higher than you? Danny, I... No, I'm look, saying, I mean, look, who's higher than you? I have 91 other people. It's okay to be pissed. Is it? Yeah. Thanks for your permission. I'm sorry. Ah, that's a good thing, because I was running out of stuff to talk about with my therapist. Look, trust me, this isn't a problem for your therapist. This is a problem for your publicist. Yo, I don't have a publicist. I know. Excuse me? Hey! I feel like I've been interrupting you guys in the middle of this. No. Yeah. Look, no. Come on, this has to stop, all right? We're, we're with you on this. Nothing's changed. Natalie's just a little tweaked. We're going to deal with it. And it's wrong to think that there are two sides on this. I appreciate that. I'm just going to sit here a second. I've been having a bit of a night. I'm just going to take a second. What's going on? Nothing. Okay, well, let's go. Game time. We're all right. We're perfectly fine. Hey, did you mean it when you said that you thought I should be higher than 92? Yes. Well, if I could trade my 92 in for you didn't make the list at all, I would. Thanks. Though, rest assured, that kind of thing is completely beyond my control. Get out. Game time! Five second warning. Okay. In three, two, Okay, this guy's an explorer. He discovered an east trade route. He discovered rolls beyond Marco Polo. Um, okay, this guy is dead. He broke all the rules for guitar. Oh, Jimmy Hendrix. Uh, um, okay, this guy didn't use any of the recognized rules of punctuation. He cut it. Oh, um, sorry. Okay, downtown artist turned suit can. Andy Warhol. Yes, this is Nancy. She scandalized Paris in the 20s. Paris, the 